Well, get everybody, Sam Marwood here from Edge Pledge, and welcome to episode three of Edge Pledge TV. We are coming to you live from Melbourne. This is the Yarra River right here. Uh, I think that's Crown. You can't quite see Crown, probably. Um, so we're all about uh, these, giving these updates regularly to give you a bit of background and insight and uh, uh, take you behind the, the scenes of what we're doing with Edge Pledge and how we're trying to have fun, save the world uh, and get you guys engaged and it's probably going to be a helicopter to just land right now which is really, really inconvenient. Uh, guys, this week we're going to talk about Sunrise and Chappelle Corby. Uh, two years since I, I quit my job and I'll let this helicopter... So two years since I quit my job and and our first corporate sponsors, ESET. Uh, So let's get cracking. Uh, Last weekend, I I promised that a weekend sunrise would, uh, the hosts, the three hosts uh, would do their challenge and they didn't. That's because Chappelle Corby arrived in Australia and all the coverage was about that. But they promised that they're going to do it this weekend. Uh, It's going to be on Facebook Live which I think is pretty unusual uh, for Sunrise, but I actually think it's awesome. We're going to be all over uh, the internet, which is where, where life is lived nowadays. So we're pumped for that. Uh, so jump on Sunday. Uh, I'm assuming around 10 o'clock, uh, tuning live. I'm sure you guys watch sun- Weekend Sunrise all the time anyway, so it won't be any different for you guys. But jump on there and support it. We'd love you guys to share it, get the word out. This is exactly the sort of stuff we want. The more national publicity we get, international publicity we get, we get the more money raised for wildlife, the more awareness we have and the more people having fun and, and saving the world so that's exciting tied into that I want to talk about what we're doing this year we want to push again for more stuff like this with Weekend Sunrise actually uh, just wanted to see yell out if anyone likes my uh, beanie I'm not sure if it's the, the best looking beanie I've had a few fe- negative feedback comments so please leave me in the comments if you think this is terrible or great I need some sort of moral support here um, but uh, our, our plan this year is we want to head back to uh, weekend Sunrise and other morning shows and even radio stations and see if they'll uh, continue on with what we're doing with Weekend Sunrise and, and do challenges, uh, whether it's just even within a segment. It could be on a radio show. They do it for uh, a segment, someone over an hour. People come up with three challenge ideas. They call in with ideas they, and vote on the spot and the, and the hosts do the challenge. We think that'd be really fun, really simple, really easy. So we're going to be pitching to all the radio stations and TV channels across Australia uh, to try and see if we can get that done. And we've got a few other fun ideas I'll keep updating you on uh, we've got uh, our volunteers helping out with that which is awesome to have some really clever people who want to help out the environment are, uh, backing us which is just brilliant so if you guys again if anyone out there wants to help out and got some sweet skills that they can help us to spread the word please get in touch we would love to help you uh, help the world and also help you in your career we want to give back to people who are helping us and um, we've got some contacts and, and some knowledge we'd love to share with anyone who wants to, is willing to help us out um, yeah, we've got our two other uh, volunteers on board who are helping us with our environmental partners. So we're, we're going to uh, give heaps of love to our current 10 environmental partners and we're going to try and seek a few more as well. Um, so they're going to help us with some uh, cunning plans around all of that. It's actually been two years since I quit my job. So I worked just up the road over there for 15, maybe 13 years uh, for the Victorian government. And I took long service leave and finally quit because I just knew I had to do something different. And, uh, the team and I uh, decided, yep, let's uh, have a crack at this. And we've been doing it for a couple of years and we're still very, very confident that we're onto a winner here. We're here for the long term. We're here to uh, um, get that balance between humans and wildlife uh, forever. Uh, and I'm just being so stoked to do it. It is a lot of hard work, a lot of uh, early mornings and late nights and hustling and meetings and emails and checking Instagram and Facebook. And But uh, I love it. The team love it. Um, and I'm so glad I've taken the, the leap to do this. Uh, it's opening up lots of doors, lots of exciting things like these interviews we're going to be doing uh, and some future things, because we put our, f- our name out there, some future things around fundraising. Uh, we're scheming, which we're really excited about um, and hopefully can share with you soon. But um, yeah, I love it. And I encourage anyone who has an idea uh, to save the world to jump on, jump in, have a crack. Maybe keep your job for a while so you've got some income coming in. Uh, but definitely it's, it's worth it to try and have a, a crack at something, something big. Uh, in that light around uh, quitting in two, since uh, the last two years or I mean, 
quit for two years. We're doing a review of 1617 uh, and I'll share that with you as soon as we've got that tidied up and just give you a bit of an evaluation of how the first year has gone uh, and then also I look forward to 1718 and uh, what we're going to be doing. That sounds really boring as in it's uh, financial years but we'll uh, make it really interesting and just highlight some of the successes and where we're going and also where we'd love some support for you guys to uh, keep kicking Edge Pledge out of the park. Uh, and talking about uh, kicking out of the park, we have our first corporate sponsor on board. We did a post about them the other day on Facebook, but it's ESET. Uh, they're a, a virus protection company, uh, so online. Uh, if you need your computer safe from bad guys, you should sign up with them. They love what we're doing. Uh, they love our fresh and new approach and that we're online. Um, so I encourage you guys to sign up. They've got a deal where if you, if you sign up to their um, software, you can choose one of three organisations to, uh, to support, and we're one of those three. And we're, we're chatting with them right now about doing some uh, fun ways of engaging with those guys and getting the EZ team to do challenges. Uh, and again, that's awesome for us that we can get some content out there and encourage even more corporates to jump on, because we think we actually have the best fundraising uh, and staff engagement tool in the world. Like picking three challenges and people voting, what could be better? Uh, we're just not enough people know about it yet. Uh, so we're really pumped to have ESET. Thank you to those guys. Uh, look, there's lots of noises happening. Uh, you're probably sick of seeing me with this beanie. So I'm going to end it there. I'll be back next week with some more updates. But please reach out. Let us know what you're hating and loving about Edge Pledge. Let us know what you're thinking, what we should do next. Uh, uh, but uh, thank you very much, guys, and we'll uh, speak soon.